When people think about burns, they think about fire-related burns. But in reality, over 9,000 children go to hospitals across Canada for burns not related to fire. Burns such as scalds and hot liquids. That's why it's important all Albertans practice burn prevention every day. Right, I think the one first thing to look at is, is never leave your cooking unattended. One of the practical things that we suggest is using something like a flipper here. If a call comes in, you have a call at the front door, take this with you, carry it to the front door that you always remember, go back, check on your cooking. If you're in the kitchen, you want to make sure that you have your lid handy. And in this little demonstration here, we have a pot that's going to show you a little flame. You get to be superheroes and you're going to use that shield. You're going to slide it over, turn off your heat source, and you're going to leave it. You're not going to run out of the house with the pot. Not only does it make a mess of your home, but again, you could be causing yourself burns. So a lot of people also though will um, slam the pot lid down. We don't want to be doing that either. We want to make sure it's just slid over and left. A lot of times we find though that the pot lid might not be readily available. What do you do in that situation? Well, there's always this here too, your base of cooking sheet. If this is gone because the kids have turned the lid into a drum set or it just happens to be missing, take something like this and place it over top. Same sort of idea with the lid. This way it's going to seal the top, eliminate the oxygen and the fire should go out. Always ensure that you then turn off the element and wait 15 minutes for the fire to go out. Be sure that you call 911 in any situation where you feel like you're worried or anything like that. They'll come out, it's a free, uh, free response and they'll take a second look at it for your benefit.